We welcome in Dean Orford to the Eye of the Hurricane, and Dean is the women's tennis coach at the University of Tulsa. Just recently had a, a match, or a meet, if you will, uh, had, a, had a tournament in, in Missouri. How did the team fare? So Missouri Invite, uh, yeah, there were a bunch of uh, good uh, universities there competing, and I thought we did really well. Uh, overall, this time of the year, we're not focused too much on results, but it is nice to see that type of feedback uh, where we are at the stage of the season. But uh, yeah, overall, um, yeah, the results came back very positive. Yeah, you had a couple of 3-0 and players, players that won all three matches, and, and, and you know, we getting used to Martina Okolova doing really yeah. well. So she was, did she kind of lead you? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's uh, right now she'd be our number one player. Um, she's nationally ranked in singles and very high in doubles uh, her senior year. And she's progressed so much since she's been here. It's been remarkable to see the improvement of her and her doubles partner, Vera Plona, since they've been here three short years ago. Yeah, they've obviously played just terrific tennis. Uh, how about some others that are kind of coming on for you? Yeah, so we've got, uh, some returners that have really showed some some remarkable progress as well and then we've got two two young freshmen that we got to see for the first time compete um and both of them won a bunch of matches and uh, so it's a good start you know they'll be playing right now at the, at the bottom of the lineup but or working their way up and but so far very positive establishing a little depth then huh yeah yeah absolutely okay so the next event obviously is the saint francis all-american uh the the event uh, the it event here at the Michael D. Case Tennis Center. And what's exciting is, first time that we've had the women join the men right here in Tulsa. How big a deal is that? Yeah, it's actually a really big deal. Uh, it's the biggest uh, tennis event um, participation-wise uh, wise in the country because uh, we have such big draws. We have pre-qualifying, qualifying, and maiden draw, men and women. So uh, it's, it's, it's a massive endeavor, but it's great for us. It's great for the city. It's a great opportunity for our players. They'll be scattered all through those three different draws that I mentioned. Uh, but yes, yeah, a phenomenal opportunity. Yeah, and it starts on October 5th and runs through the 13th. The championships uh, on the men's and women's side, the singles, uh, will be aired on ESPNU. So no question about it, it is a big deal. And fans can come, really come and go, because there's, there's no admission charge. And what you're seeing is the best in women's college tennis, right? Yep, the very best will be here. Um, and it's all day, like you mentioned, an all-day affair, there'll be match is starting at 9, finishing at uh, 5 p.m. You can drop in at any time and we'll be represented well by our uh, number one doubles team who's top five in the nation right now, so they'll have a good shot as they're getting ready for it right now. Yeah, we mentioned Okolova, but Vera Plona is, is her partner. How good are they? Oh, so much fun to watch and, and the, the most important thing is how much they progressed. They were not double specialists when they came, came mm -hmm. in here, but they worked so hard uh, that they've earned the spot to be a top five team. Yeah, and uh, you, you never know, obviously, if you, if you are ranked highly, sometimes you can get upset, but they're, they're in a really comfortable situation uh, here at home. Let's hope they can make a deep run, huh? No, absolutely. They'll, they'll give it their best for sure. Anushka Van Eskel, Exel just recently went into the Hall of Fame, and I know that uh, you were here when she came here. I think you were on the guys' side. That's but correct. What, are the, what does she mean to the program? Because she was here before the Michael D. Case Tennis Center. That's right. And Anushka was uh, part of the building blocks of, of building this program. Uh, just a, a great, well-rounded person, but what a, what a great player, too. Singles, doubles, uh, and even though it was quite a few years ago, her game would translate fantastically today so uh, uh, but yeah no what a, what a great human being and it's really positive to have her inducted into the Hall of Fame absolutely yeah that terrific that was terrific just here recently and so the hurricane uh, moving forward though and getting ready for the uh, All-American sponsored by St. Francis uh, thanks a lot coach appreciate it appreciate you Dean Orford joining us here in the eye of the hurricane